I have a Snow White cup. Isn't it pretty? and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a get ready with me video where I'm being very chatty and rambly so I apologize if it's a bit all over the place but I'm showing you how I got this really pretty makeup look as well as my outfit and the brush out for this hairstyle. So I really really hope that you enjoy it. Um, don't forget that you can follow me on all of my social media. You can follow me on Instagram at a very vintage darling. You can follow me on Twitter at V Vintage Darling. I love you all so very much, and let's just let you get into the get ready with me. Starting off with my priming spray. Because I ran out of my um, pump primer. I wait for that to dry because I just applied way too much. Whew. So, how have you guys been? I have been in a very interesting state for the last few months. Um, I think some people that I know messaged or talked to me after I uploaded my last video, which was support for hard times, um, because they were slightly concerned. <laughs> Um, honestly, I was very, very upset because of personal reasons and I wanted to do something positive with that energy and it was a very therapeutic video to make for me, honestly. It was um, kind of like exercising the negative feelings I had and just imagining helping other people. Um, because I feel really good when I'm being helpful to other people. So I figured if I was upset and I imagined that just, you know, a simple video giving encouragement to everyone who might watch it, that really helped me, so. There's no need for anyone to be concerned in case you were. I'm doing a lot better. Part of me is always loath to do anything online that indicates that I'm not really okay. But I think it was also really important um, because you like YouTube and Instagram, social media, all those kinds of things are very rose tinted. Um, and that's kind of the way I want them. I want my YouTube channel to be kind of just a happy, um, you know, simple space for people to come, but, you know, it is important to acknowledge that we're all human and we all have time where we're going through things, um, and that that's nothing bad, like, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Now that I've got my foundation on and I've still got a bunch on the back of my hand, I just blend in any foundation that's left over on the back of my hand. Um, now that I've done that, I'm just doing last bits of evening out, making sure there's no like excess of foundation in one place. And then, this is a tip I learned from a Jay Bunsy video. I take my two fingers and I go over my face and I dab over the foundation and I find This does help it to settle a bit onto your skin. Um, especially because it's a bit hotter now. Um, I really want my foundation to be nice and skin-like. I don't want it to be like a really thick layer on top of my face, so. There you go, I find this to be a really helpful thing to do. So, yeah, I have now finished my university degree. That always kind of gives me heart palpitations every time I say it. Um, it's so weird to me because, you know, I've been doing this for three years. 
um, and also because it kind of signals me leaving education, at least for now, like I don't want to do a master's this year, I know that for sure. Um, even saying oh my god yeah I don't want to do a master's this year so it's like education has been my life since I was you know you go into school when you're about six um and I'm now 21 so that's like <sighs> four, 11, 15 16 years 16 years of my life oh my god is my battery dying no so the big thing for me now is figuring out what comes next, which is always, you know, the big scary bit for everyone. Almost scarier, in my opinion, because you have so much choice. Obviously, your 20s are kind of for discovering who you are and what you want to do. Um, and it can feel like a lot of pressure. At least I definitely... I've been feeling the pressure and because you feel like you have to go into immediately the career that you want to have forever um, which by the way you don't you can just try out things and see what you like or even just get something just to get you by while you figure out what you want to do that's totally fine, but it feels like you're meant to go from university straight into dream job, which can be a lot of pressure. I think this is a really exciting time. I'm trying to get into the headspace that this is an exciting time, not like just living in abject terror. Because that's easy to do as well, is to just get so overwhelmed. And when I get too much pressure and too much stress, my brain tends to shut down. It just goes, oh, uh, yeah, no. Um, and it just like curls off in a ball and screams. So that's not the most helpful, I'll be honest. But getting past that is obviously really important. Thing for me right now is that I don't entirely know what I want to do um, so I'm not like dead set on any particular job or career choice or anything I just want to do something that I'm happy that I'm interested in that gives me some kind of fulfillment. I'm not expecting to have it as like a dream job necessarily, um, but I just want, I feel really strongly that I cannot be in a job that I despise. I don't wanna be in a job where I wake up every day and I think, oh God, I have to go into work. That's just, I always find it really, it's such a shame that there are people who have to do that just to, because you know, work and having money is, you have to, you have it to survive. So I just find that to be a shame, but I'm determined that I will not do that. Away from us, they'll never, never roam. Some days they belong to the family. 
do think um, I have been struggling actually recently for um, you know, like really good creative ideas for content. So if any of you have any ideas of videos that you would really like to see from me, um, even if it's just like a general idea, like more speaking videos, more fashion videos, you know, videos on how I find my clothes, um, like more hair videos or anything, because obviously I can always just sit down and do like a million brush out videos, but you know, I want... I want to create content that the people who, all of you who watch me, want to see. Like, I don't want it to just be dull. Um, so if you have anything that you really want, please let me know. Because I want to make you all happy. Lately, I seem to have been wearing like quite a lot of quite a lot of makeup, like quite a lot of obvious makeup. If that makes sense. Um, just because I'm really liking it. Like I went through a stage where I was feeling kind of bored of not bored, like uninspired. Um, and I was like, I still wanted to wear it, but it wasn't, as fun doing it anymore. Um, which was really not, it's like, I wear makeup partly because I love putting it on. Um, so it was really taking the fun out of the process when I was like, not feeling it. But I've really gotten, I've fallen back in love with makeup recently. This looks like a lot of powder, but it's not. Well, it might be for some people. But for me, it's not. Because I take this big brush. And I... Blend it in. I like a very smooth... Velvety powdered canvas. The numbers wrong, he loudly swore. Don't rang again and cried once more. That just messed up my eyebrows a little bit, so I'm just gonna brush them through with this. There we go, that's better. And then I can apply my mascara. My fringe is going very Audrey. The longest I have ever had and really liked a fringe. Um. I think the length is perfect for me because I hate having um, like hair in my eyes. I can't take it. So the second when I had a full, a more modern full fringe when I was younger, you can see it in some of my older videos. Um, the second it would get long enough where it kind of touched my eyebrows, I was like, no. So this is actually a really perfect length for me. And it suits, obviously, the vintage aesthetic, which is good. Um, for me at the moment, it's about trying to be inspired by life again and by being excited by, you know, choice and
um, by options and by possibility. Like being excited by all that instead of just being terrified of it is really important to me. Oh my god, this looks really dark in the camera. I promise you it is not this intense in real life. Promise. And then I'm applying a lot of this pink highlighter because I really, really love the way this looks and because it fits in with like my shorts and my shoes. I will show you my complete outfit at the end. Um, they both have pink in or are pink. So and then I'm contouring my nose. Which I've really been liking doing recently. I just, I really like how it looks. Now all that's left to do on my makeup is my lipstick and then we can brush up my hair and then I'll be ready to go and I will show you my outfit as well. So, I think I'm gonna go with cherry red today. I might do, would you be interested in a lipstick collection video? Because I have one, two, three, I have nine best of my lipsticks. Um, and I'm sure you've seen them all at some point, but I think it would be good to do a complete like roundup collection video. So let me know. There we go. I'm happy with that. And then just got to do my hair. Why doesn't some wise man get up and explain? Why doesn't he clear up my poor mother brain? Why doesn't history tell us the mystery? Why doesn't somebody do it? I'd like to think the tales about him were true. But if he was a married man, i leave it to you. Say, how could Washington be a married man and never, never tell a lie? When I was a kiddie, we had an old cherry tree. It was Father's pride and joy. One day he went to town, I thought I'd chop it down, just like Mrs. Washington's dear boy. When he came back home that night and missed the cherry tree, I said I'd get it. And he licked the stuff out of it, and Georgie got away with it, and the apple Stick a flower in it, and I'm happy with that. I'm just going to spray it. There is my finished look. Tell us the mystery, why doesn't somebody do it? He kept it New York just to see all the sights. But how about those weekend trips to Washington Heights? Say, how could Washington be a married man and never, never tell a lie? Why doesn't some wise man get up and explain? Why doesn't he clear up my poor mother brain? Why doesn't history tell us the mystery? Why doesn't somebody do it? Oh, Georgie knew a thing or two, I'll agree. The Independence Declaration says liberty. So how could Washington be a married man and never, never...